how's it going? This is Hoyman, and I felt really weird on Saturday. Um, like I just became extremely dizzy, disorientated, lightheaded, and just almost felt really like motion sickness in a way like you despite standing sitting or lying down my head just felt like it was just moving all about and I just I was just so dizzy and couldn't focus and then my body felt really tired and sore and really cold as well and kind of had like a tingling feeling all over as well and then it made me want to vomit as well so I decided to like lie down in bed for a few hours but it didn't really help and it honestly gave me the same feelings of um, the medication retention syndrome, I think that's what it's called. So quite a few months ago now, I reported on this channel where um, I wanted to suddenly just stop taking all my medication just because there are times where it just feels like it feels like it's not helping me with these meds and it does have a lot of side effects as well and it always I always just feel like it kind of makes my mood just all over the place and just can't really tell if it's really helping my mental health so for that time I just completely stopped taking all medication and then after about three days I suddenly became really dizzy really disorientated had a cold and tingly feeling all over my body felt really painful and sore and this is exactly the same feelings of what I'm had on Saturday so I looked it up and it turns out that if you're taking long-term medication for like mental health and stuff and you suddenly stop taking it without slowly decreasing the dose then it has these really severe retention syndrome side effects on the body and the mind and then back then I once I read that I retook my medication and then after a few hours I kind of went back to normal but for this case I kind of just been having the feeling of like just wanting to stop my medication again and I know it's very ill advised without speaking to my doctor but I don't know I just always feel a bit hesitant taking my medication sometimes but instead of like completely stopping it I decided to take one out and take a lower dose of the other so I did that and then I did that on Friday night and then Saturday morning I was okay and then it was about when I reached midday I suddenly just started having all these feelings and side effects and yeah after a few hours I you know re I took the medication that I was supposed to take the night before and then I'd say after about five six hours I kind of went back to normal again so it's like yeah it was definitely that retention syndrome again but it's like it just feels like it's a weird way to look at it 
but it kind of feels like I'm a slave to the medication. Like, some sometimes I hesitate to take it, and I just don't know if it's really helping me. But if I stop taking it, then it will have quite severe consequences. So it kind of forces me to have to take it in order for me and my body to relax and calm back down to normal. So it just feels like even if I want to stop it, I can't unless I speak to my doctor. But, you know, maybe when the medication is helping and I'd probably feel a lot worse without it, but... I don't know, it just feels really scary that my mind and my body can't function properly without taking the medication now. So it almost feels like I'm a slave to it, even though it's not the right way to look at it. But I don't know, it's it's just a... Um, weird situation I guess but um yeah ever, now I'm feeling like I'm usually feeling again so at least that's something positive but even then for the last like two days I've not really done any productive stuff like I've not worked on my book not done any drawings for it and I just feel like I'm just really lacking the motivation and I'm I'm just feeling really unmotivated to do it and I also feel really uninspired to do it like I just don't know what I want to do with the story or what I've made so far isn't what I want the story to be and it's like I have some like doubts and hesitation and kind of new directions that I like to write the story but it kind of involves kind of scrapping most of it and starting again and I don't know if that's really what I want to do I don't know if I want to do with the new idea or continue this current idea that I'm doing and it's like I have some ideas forming but I just don't have the motivation and inspiration to start work on it or continue work on it and I guess also I do feel a bit burnt out as well like right mm. <sighs> Oh, I'm tired. But um, yeah, I just feel a bit burnt out and, you know, just work a little bit on the book every day for, you know, a long time does, you know, get to me. So I'm just feeling, because I feel unmotivated and uninspired and also burnt out, I'm feeling that it might be a good time to just kind of uh, take a break from it and just kind of take this time to kind of re-evaluate what I want the story to be or what I want the project to be. And then at the same time, gather some new ideas of what I want the structure to be. Until I just kind of feel more ready to continue it, I guess, and feel more motivated and inspired. But yeah, so far this week has just been just kind of all over the place, really, of feeling really having the retention syndrome and now feeling really burnt out and not really knowing what to do with the story. So it's just... Yeah, very all over the place so far this week. Kung Hei Fat Choi 
which means Happy Chinese New Year, and that is exactly today. So we're now in the year of the dragon, so I wish you all a blessed and positive year, and yeah, again, Gong Hei Fat Choi. So I guess that's pretty much it for this week, so hopefully I'll see you next Saturday. That's it for this video, my name is Hoyman, and please consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. And remember, always look forward, keep hope alive, and remember, you're somebody.